above and beyond that, a bellwether race for our country. With exactly one week until the election, all eyes on the hotly contested race in Washington's third congressional district. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Tonight, one candidate got help from a state leader with roots in Vancouver. Jamie Seymour has been following this race closely. She joins us live with the latest. Coming down to the wire now, Jamie, only one week to go. Yes, it's a tight race between Republican Joe Kent and Democrat Marie Glusenkamp Perez. And with just days to go until the election, both candidates are pulling out all the stops. This is not our America, and we are taking it back. The race is tightening for Washington's 3rd Congressional District, and tonight, Democrat and small business owner Marie Glusenkamp Perez brought in the state's lieutenant governor for an added boost in the final week before the election. This race may in fact determine who's in majority control of the United States House of Representatives. Yeah, yeah. The race is getting national attention after incumbent Republican Jamie Herrera Butler, one of the 10 who voted to impeach Trump, was unseated in the primary. Tonight, losing Camp Perez spoke with supporters and community members in Vancouver with a major focus on the economic crisis and inflation and their impact on those in southwest Washington and across the country. Our um, understanding of what needs to happen for our economy to get back on the right footing, um, our support for uh, the trades, for small businesses like mine, for addressing some of the crime issues we've seen. Last week, Republican Trump-backed candidate and former Green Beret Joe Kent got some help from former U.S. Rep Tulsi Gabbard, also speaking to the impact of inflation. Those bills did nothing to alleviate any kind of inflation. As a matter of fact, they added new taxes on the domestic energy production. With just one week to go, this race could come down to the moderate and undecided voters in District 3. And both candidates are not giving up without a fight. We reached out to Kent's campaign multiple times this afternoon and evening to see if he could interview or provide a statement in response to what was said in tonight's rally with Perez, but we did not hear back. And we're going to continue to follow this race very closely over the next week and on election night. Reporting live, Jamie Seymour, Coin6 News. Yeah, lots of big races to watch for, lots of big issues too, Jamie. Thank you.